Welcome to this video. This is a new part of the calculation and tactics series. Yeah, this is one of those where I just look at one position. And um, yeah, this is a position that um, I will discuss, but certainly also a position that you can look at and try to solve. Um, some of the positions that I select here for for this series where I just it's just one position to look at not the tactics trainer videos some of those are really to be honest very hard to solve they are selected also for the beauty of it yeah because they're just very nice to uh, to look at and um and uh, yeah try to yeah to 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 accept the challenge to solve them while it's very difficult to do i think this one is uh, in fact possible to solve but not easy at all. This is from a game between Viktor Bologan and Vadim Milov in 2003 played in um, Moscow. Yeah, in fact, in the game, um, Bologan played the move queen to b5 here. Yeah? There was an alternative, a better move. In a way, I helped you now because it's not queen b5. <laughs> but um, what is the other move? Um, I'm going to also tell tell you some things about the position that might help you to get to the solution but if you just want to look at it like that just uh, the position itself you might as well pause the video here and uh, have a look okay so i'm now going to give you some features of this position or some patterns that might help you with um, coming to the solution if you look at the position here, you see that white is an exchange down, but as a compensation, he has some uh, some huge assets. He has the B pawn, of course, very close to um, to promotion. He has um, excellently placed knights here on f3 and g4, and those knights totally dominate at the moment the black queen on h5. Black has a very unlucky position of his pieces. The queen has no square, really no square. The bishop is uh, almost entombed on g7, cannot do much. The rook on c6 is also unstable, it is unprotected. And the rook on h8 is not doing that much. So white has a fantastic compensation, that, that much is clear. But how actually um, can we win this, tactically, directly win this? Queen b5, by the way, what Bologan played, ultimately also led to a win after some adventures. But here, in this precise position, there is a forced win. White can definitely win by force here. The whole thing is based um, on those um, factors that I already mentioned. Bad position of black's queen, unstable position of the rook, also the b-pawn, that is an additional asset. Okay, maybe you want to look at it again with those kind of uh, hints as a backup. So I'll be silent for a couple of seconds again, and then I'm going to show you what really um, what is what the solution is. Yeah, the move that that wins in this position is the maybe not so apparent move, queen to d1. Queen to d1 is very very strong. Yeah, why why is this so strong? The the real secret behind the move is geometry. The queen is putting itself on the same diagonal as the queen is on h5. And this is a very, very, very tricky business that's coming up now. If we look at this, white has a very substantial threat here. White now threatens to play knight d4. Yeah, putting this knight on d4, which attacks the rook on c6, and this knight move also attacks the queen by means of a discovered check, knight f6 check. Yeah, so just for argument's sake, if black is, um, let's say, playing a, a nothing move, yeah, let's say he plays rook f6 or something, then we go here, the rook is attacked, and if it moves, we will play this and win the queen. Very easy. 
once you have it on the board, it's easy. Yeah, so knight d4 is, is a substantial threat. What happens if black takes the pawn? The queen going away from b1 has left the pawn unprotected. Here it is easy. We give, we get, uh, get to d4 with the knight. Yeah, simple fork. Queen has to move. Protecting the rook. We take it. And now the final moves are actually easy. We have the check. Queen comes back to b1 with check. King moves. And after b7 we will promote to a new queen. Very nice. So black cannot really take on f5. What is the toughest defense? And this is actually really nice. Rook takes b6 is, um, is um, what we need to check. But also, what about this move? Rook c4. Maybe black is trying to counter-sacrifice. To that, white goes knight d2. Yeah, again, threatening knight f6. And now black has to give up the exchange. Takes. Queen g5 and queen e2 with a fantastic position. Yeah, White is threatening knight e4 here, almost trapping the queen again, and still there's the b-pawn. This is maybe the, the defense that lets black um, hang on for the longest, but the toughest one really is rook takes b6, if we look at this, and also more logical. What is white doing now? We are playing with the same motif, the discovered check. White is going knight d2. And this is now very neat. We threaten knight f6 check, and black has no king move to attend to that. Yeah, the only king move is king g8, after which we go knight f6, and he also cannot protect the queen, really. So, <laughs> what is there? Okay, well, king g8, I'm sorry. Of course, now the rook protects it. But white has a, a way to um, enforce this. He can go knight e4. Yeah, have a look at this. This is really nice. The knight on e4 is also attacking here. So there is additional pressure on the pawn. Black has no moves with the queen, really, and no moves that help. Yeah, queen h7 is kind of pointless. This queen d8. And queen d8 is threatening anyway. So what should black do? Rook a6. Yeah, he has to cover f6 all the time. Queen d3. Yeah, note, yeah, there, this is all protected. And uh, the rook has to move. Rook b6, there's rook, queen d8. So it has to go here. And then we go queen to d7. And this is a total domination. The rook is attacked. From here, it will get lost. From here as well and black is in Zugzwang here he will lose material now the queen the rook it's uh, it's hopeless it's really funny so if we if we go back what else is there there is this threat queen g5 okay after queen g5 what is white's move here it's simple actually knight e4 and again, everything is working perfectly together. The queen is trapped. It cannot go here, here, here. Everything is protected. And really, there is only queen h5 back. And white ultimately will win the queen with knight f6. So that's a very nice little tactical puzzle based on a geometrical motif. This queen on d1, the side, this is decisive move looking at h5 and setting up those threats. Especially nice is that there are those motifs with the knight on f3 coming away with a tempo like this, or after rook takes, actually with this move, threatening here possibly and threatening here or here. So it's a very nice motif with those pieces perfectly, uh, yeah, in perfect harmony. This is always very nice, I think, if we have this kind of perfect uh, coordination of forces, which is the case here with, uh, with white.
It also shows that um, a bad position of the queen very often is enough to lose you the game. Yeah, this is really um, um, a clear case where black is basically playing without um, his strongest piece. And uh, it's, uh, however, quite nice to see that white can make use of it uh, so quickly with queen d1. After that, black really has no defense. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little puzzle. I think it's uh, it's uh, it's very nice, very it's a very uh, visual kind of puzzle with the the queen on this this funny diagonal and um, leading to a loss. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.